Maxell, an engineered fabric interduct system for communication cables. This state-of-the-art cable management system will greatly increase your cable density in any size conduit. You paid for your conduit space. Now, maximize its use. This is our recommended technique to prepare Maxell for pulling into your conduit structure. First, find all three pull tapes in your Maxell. Then, grab each tape individually and hold and pull back Maxell so that you can cut off 18 inches to 24 inches of tape in each cell. This will allow the pull tapes to float behind your pulling grip when pulling in Maxell. Now that your pull tapes are cut back, this is how to make a Maxell pulling harness with scrap pull tape or rope using half hitches to make a form of a K grip. First, make a one inch slit on one side of the Maxell, just inside one of the colored thread seams of Maxell. Then tie the rope or tape to the slit. Make several half hitches to form your grip on the end of Maxell. And then tape the end. Make sure the tapes in Maxell are free-floating behind the grip. The most important tool to make your Maxell installation a success is a swivel. A swivel must always be used between the pull rope and Maxell. Failure to use a swivel may result in excessive spiral of Maxell, caused by your pulling rope spiraling under tension. If this occurs, the Maxell should be removed and reinstalled with a swivel to drastically lower pulling tensions of cable. If you are not ready to pull cable after placing Maxell, you can do some housekeeping to keep your extra lengths of Maxell from hanging freely in your manhole or handhole. This will keep it from getting muddy or stepped on. Roll it up and tie wrap it close to the conduit opening. When you are ready to pull cable, you'll need to tie off your Maxell from the end your cable will be entering. This will prevent any possible Maxell movement during the cable pull. This can be done by putting a one inch slit in your Maxell edge just inside the colored thread seam. Then take a rope or pull tape, tie a knot in the slit, and tie off to something convenient, which can be permanent or temporary. If you don't want to slit your Maxell, there are several grips you can use to clamp Maxell. Then tie off your grip. We suggest in all pulls, even though Maxell is pre-lubricated, to apply lubricant to your cable. It will always help assure your cable will pull easier. Our inflatable Maxell termination system allows you to terminate the conduit ends from 3 inch to 6 inch conduit with just Maxell or with one to as many cables as possible without cable shims and the time consuming process of split plugs. First, wrap the inflation terminator system around the Maxell and cables. Slide it into the conduit opening so it is flush with the end of the conduit. Use the CO2 inflation kit and inflate the bag by the hose attached to the bag.
When the gauge on the inflation tube reaches the green area, wait 30 more seconds and then turn it off. Grab the tube and wrap around your finger and remove. To remove the inflatable Maxell Terminator, puncture and remove with pliers and throw away. Maxell Inflation Termination System. Four inch conduit with Maxell and nine cables terminated. Four inch conduit with three Maxell packs terminated with no cables. Maxell Installation Requirements. A pulling swivel must always be used between the pull rope and Maxell. Failure to do so may result in the pull rope causing the Maxell to twist excessively and may make it difficult to pull cable. Pull tapes should always be cut back so that they float during the placing of Maxell. Check the pull tapes after pulling in Maxell before cutting off. They will float back during the pull. Tie off Maxell before pulling the first cable in the pack. It is always better to lubricate cable during the pull. The Maxell Flexible Engineered Fabric Inner Duct System. If you want to get your money's worth out of a conduit system, Maxell is the answer. <laughs>